All right, I've got the um, just putting my power sluice together. So I've got the shell made up like fabricators. Got me fitting the pump, and then I'm just using curtain rod holders so I can have an adjustable leg. And then I'll put a clamp on there so I can adjust them as I'm going. And got on me hose, me matting, There's some loop stuff there as well. And I'm going to try the bread crate first and then I might go to a, a mesh instead. Right, put the legs on and see how we go. Alright, I'm still going, um, I'm not happy with the legs, they're a bit unstable. And I put this too close to the front so if I clean it up into my bucket it's going to be an issue. But we'll see how we go. Put the black matting in, siliconed up the edges. I saw this on the internet. This is just a bread crate. So I'll cut the bottom out of it. And you just do a zigzag formation. I've got a lot of cutting to do. We'll see how that comes up. That's going alright so far. I tried out the pump. It's, it's a lot more pressure than I imagined, so I'll have to um, get a valve for it tomorrow. I'll just keep on cutting. Uh, yesterday, my um, my curtain legs were a failure, but today I might be a genius. Look at these, and they're um, paint roll holders, and luckily, fully adjustable, so they're going to be perfect legs. I wasn't sure how to um, connect them to the sluice box, and then I found paint holders, paintbrush holders. It's got the screw there. Perfect. It's going to screw straight on the side. Fully adjustable, adjust the angle, height, almost as if they were made custom for it. So I'll put them on, and see how we go. Oh, doing the uh, run for the, the new sluice box. Same spot, just kept digging out that waterfall. And I did a tire run at home, it ran pretty good, so I'm hoping. It'll do the same here. Got to straighten it up a bit. Alright. Just fine, still doing this. Seems to be working pretty well. Yes. Oh, I know. We're going to work so right, mate, the new one? Yep. Yep. Braden, there's no room, mate. So ready. much quicker. I think I think you're ready, Dad. I probably need like a lip here. I my legs have been a failure so I far, so I don't want to work that part out. I think you're ready, Dad. Everything else is pretty good. I think you're ready. I think you're I think you're ready. You have to go around that side, mate. So I just feel like no, oh no, it's always gonna go up the top, mate, up where daddy's putting it. If you guys stand over there, I'll get you the other bucket, mate, and you can do that. Yep. I'm pretty happy. We're both, um, yeah. we're both feeding and then it keeps up. No, we both the pins. Yep, that's right, mate. Now you can see. Yeah. I don't know whether you can see, but, oh, yeah, there's a bit of gold in there. Okay. Quite a bit of gold. Was the phone ringing? You could probably almost run a bit more water through it, I think. <laughs> the mozzies are crazy. Poor old Bray's up to on his face, haven't you, mate? Got two mozzie bites? Okay. That's an alarm. Yeah. Pick you up from school. No, it looks like it's going pretty well. No, it's definitely fine in gold. No, 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 Alright, show us, mate. Pretty good. Let's see how fast we can go. Right, hang on, woo woo woo, don't get too crazy. Well, oh, there's a big chunk. Hang on, mate, I don't want to see that chunk. Okay. 
Yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah. Bit of gold in there, mate. Yeah. Yeah. It's only taking about down to five minutes per bucket. There's plenty of gold in there, too. Yeah, yeah you can see that big chunk there. So what I'm going to do over the next um, three days is Friday. So I'll only run three full buckets. I'll come and do two full days by myself and see how much gold I can pump out with this. The main adjustments I'm going to make, I have to put something in that valve because if I put my finger in front of it, it runs beautiful and neat like that. So I'll probably just stick a bolt through it. That gives it a nice even flow. I was a bit worried about them clogging up, but they're clearing out pretty well. I mean, you can see the the blue stuff in there. Pump's running well. Need a smaller battery. That's a bit of a haul to carry that down here. So, we keep going. and I won't do any of my concentrates until Sunday night, and we'll do it all at once and see how much gold we find for the weekend. By the looks of that, there's chunks everywhere in there. I'm going to go pretty well. See how we go. Alright, I'm just at home um, cleaning out the concentrates from the other day. I couldn't get out today, it's pretty crazy weather here at the moment. So I thought I'd just take you through doing a pan. I just shake around, some people stir, and I always tilt it to the edge so all, all the gold's got to float or well, sink down to the bottom. So I try to get it deep down on this bottom edge as I go. I'll just give it a shake. Just go take all the light stuff off the top. More of a shake. Now this is all the uh, concentrates from my new sluice box. Doing it in my bathrooms late at night. I was a bit bored, so I thought I'd better see what's in there. I've already done one pan, there was a couple of good little chunks in there. We've got just a little bit, probably five, six little pans worth to work out. Well, some of the lighter stuff off. There's a lot of rocks, I could have screened it down more, but I thought it was just as easy. I'm going to get rid of that stuff. Just do a side and make sure I don't miss any gold. Swell. Yeah, spootsy. There's a bit of gold there. different method this one seems to work well for me I always do it in a bucket so I can repan it just to make sure I didn't miss any rarely you know sometimes I find a speck or two that I've missed oh, there's a bit of gold in there So 
a good size piece. There's two bits there. Three bits, four bits, five bits. I'm not sure whether it's coming up on the camera. So here, 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 here. That's so definitely catch and go. It's got some good size ones. Little, they're tiny, those two there. So I'll keep going and I'll show you the results at the end. Say hello, Bootsy. You puss? What are you doing? Yes. He loves looking for gold. <laughs> you say bye, Bootsy? Hey? Puss? I just brought me gold in here to get some better light to show you. And I dropped it on the floor. I can't believe it. I'll try to sweep it up and see what I get. I mean, it wasn't heaps, but it was. It wasn't bad. I can't believe I dropped it. We'll see how we go. Well. I got all the big chunks off the floor. You can see them there. And I think I've lost a few little ones. This one here is why I wanted to show you. It's actually, um, I can't get the focus on it. It's half silver, half gold. That's not a bad cleanup. My floor's a little bit richer. But the best thing is, at least my sluice box is working.